Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 21st, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and my portfolios are available in the link down below. So we'll stop looking at the NASDAQ and as you can see, it is another green day. We're getting fairly overstretched at the moment, but the positive thing here is that it looks like we are continuing within this channel that we are kind of building us for the NASDAQ. So within here, the highs and the lows are roughly down here. So considering this, we are basically at the top of this channel. We're also at the top of the Bollinger Band and therefore we may expect this to drop a little bit towards the 50 moving average. We're way above the 50 moving average. It looks like it is going to turn and head upwards at this current stage and that is a fairly bullish shine. So if we draw from here towards the 50 moving average and then rally, and that's a really uh, um, very bullish shine, or if we basically draw from here and then head towards the higher part of this channel, then of course that is also a very positive sign that this may continue. It's dropping below this channel, but then we may go and head back towards the very lows. But at this current stage, it is holding and it is earning season and uh, numbers are not as bad as the predicted or so uh, people are basically starting to put the money to work yet again even cryptocurrencies are are continuing to rally um, after that massive fall if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, bullish stochastic is still bullish but it's about to cross the signal line and rsi is bullish as well so if we look at the uh, weekly chart, this could have been the bottom. The 200 moving average with the red line here has been a major support in the past. So every time we have gotten close to the 200 moving average, we have rallied. You saw it also back in 2020. And we can go all the way back towards uh, 2015. We also see it in 2016 and also here in 2013. We can also go further back than that and 200 moving average has been massive support every single time so it should be strange historically if this technically was the bottom as far as we may go at this point so we may see something similar to that going forward into 2023 this may be the directory trajectory for basically this market doesn't mean that it will not go straight up in the air in a v-shaped recovery it will go up and down but but um, given that the 200 moving average has been massive support in the past this is pro not uh, it's fairly realistic that this could be what we're looking for but that is to be seen so if we look at the yes the daily yet again so at this current stage, we are fairly overstretched. We are at basically at the top of the bullish band, pull back quite a bit at the end of the US session. So uh, tomorrow or the next few days, that is most likely going to be a pullback before going higher. So let's look at the S&P 500. Same thing here, running into resistance roughly at 3,975, just uh, underneath the 4,000. Breaking above the 4,000, then we are uh, most likely going to go significantly higher. So we have this area right around there here, which is uh, roughly uh, 4,150 up towards 4,200, which should be massive resistant. So also here we are creating a bullish channel and uh, we are basically getting fairly overstretched. We are at the top of the bullish band and therefore we may see this market uh, pull back a bit before going higher, if this basically holds. If we break below roughly 3,722, then we may go back towards the very lows. But we are above the 50 moving average and, and uh, this is starting to look fairly nice also for the S&P 500. If you look at the MACD, it is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish, and there's a lot of room to the upside in the RSI. So, Dow Jones. So, nothing really happened here. We ended up at the same place where we started, 
but we got all the way up to uh, 32k and then gave most of the gay basically all of those gains back we are basically at the top of uh, with the, the bullish band and also here we are creating a fairly uh, bullish channel to the upside so maybe i'll be that will pull back a little bit before going higher dropping below round 31 and uh, 30.5 then we may go tumbling back to where he did the downside but otherwise also here we have an area of roughly uh, 33 towards 32.6 which should be massive uh, resistant if we break above that and then the 200 moving average comes into play if you look at technical indicators we just see macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is fairly flat at this current stage so it is the german dax and also here we're running into problems at the 50 moving average so 50 moving average moving in this direction and we could be running out of steam here and pulling back towards the lows uh, we have had a fairly good rally from 12.4 all the way up towards the 13.4 uh, uh, so um, this is a very uh, bullish run indeed but at this current stage, it looks like we are pulling back. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we are mostly going to test the 200 moving average up here at 14.6. We are also at the place where we bottomed uh, back in, this is May. Uh, so this should be an area of uh, resistance, but it, it'll, be, it'll be seen where we are going at this current stage. Has been a good run. And the technical indicators, if you look at the MACD, is bullish. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line, becoming bearish. And the RSI is flat at this point. So, Japanese Nikkei, we are yet again running into problems at the 200 moving average. Saw it here. This was back in uh, March. This was back in, in June. And now we, are, we broke above the 200 moving average and gave technically all of those gains back so it may well be that we will head back south towards 25.9 which we did um, basically in both of these cases we rallied up to just 200 broke down rallied broke down and now it looks like we're gonna do a similar move to the downside if we manage to break above the 200 moving average well then we may see the 50 moving average move in this direction and cross the 200 moving average and in that case this is a golden crossing uh, would be a fairly bullish sign for the nikkei if we look at the, the macd is bullish stochastic has crossed the signal line becoming bearish in positive territory and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at the vix and the vix ha is down 1.30 30 percent and at this current stage, it looks like we are going to test the 200 moving average. We are momentum is to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, all of them are bearish at this point. So 200 moving average will mostly come into play. And if you look at historical, uh, then we see that the 200 moving average is where we have found support every single time. So. If this holds, then it's most likely that we are probably going to see one or two more days of a rally before the VIX basically starts rallying yet again uh, of a bearishness before the VIX starts rallying uh, yet again. To the upside, we have the 50 moving average moving this direction, which should offer also resistance. So breaking above that, that's kind of the catalyst whether or not we are going to go higher. So if you look at the 10 year, it has been all over the place fell all the way down to 2.9 and then uh, ended up above the 50 moving average nothing really happening here until we basically break below 2.7 that is kind of the bottom of this market and breaking well above the 50 moving average and then this market has just gone sideways you're kind of just in this small range here and nothing is really happening if you look at the MACD, it's uh, bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're on the support job by subscribing, the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.